Hello everybody, Vikingsman18 here, ready for the next universe episode. I know last time I said in this episode we're gonna fit in one mat, I mean, uh, in one episode, this tag match and this match right here. Instead, I decided I want to make this match for the Intercontinental title while I play as Chris Jericho because I want Jericho to hold the title because I want Triple H just involved in the tag team division with Sean and I don't want him holding possibly both the tag and the Intercontinental titles. So for now, we're just going to skip this match. And DX actually wins over the tag team champions. Hmm, maybe that's a sign to come. So we are going to play this match. We are going to put the match experience to Epic. And play. I want to play as Y2J. <laughs> it both says 99 next to their name, that's cool. Besides for like Sean, Triple H, and like Steve Austin and all of them, freaking Chris Jericho is, was seriously one of my favorite guys. I remember watching his debut live when he interrupted Rock. Oh, that crap was crazy. Don't look oh my god. Go, but we've got company. Have a seat right here. The Rock came out, and he's watching the match. Maybe The Rock wants the freaking belt. Wow, I wonder if he's going to interfere in the match. What a neckbreaker! The quick kick. Quick thinking to avoid that. Jericho controlling the arm. Dodges to the side of that one. Triple H, what do you think the game has planned tonight, King? Well, he'd love to stop his opponent's momentum with a win here tonight. That's for sure. A bit of a test of strength here. You watch Triple H, he doesn't waste any energy needlessly. Everything he does brings him closer to a win. Oh, nice drop Whoa. kick. Triple H looks hurt. Well, I wouldn't trust Jericho as far as I could throw him. But when it comes to performing in the ring, he's up there among the best in the world. 
Because Chris Jericho is the best in the world in everything he does. He scored with that one. Where else but in the WWE are you going to see something like that? That'll leave a mark. The game. Controlling the head. A nice backbreaker. Backbreaker right there. Has the arm. What a match this is going to be. Jericho so adept at thinking three steps ahead can turn defense into offense in a moment's notice. Jericho, the veteran, had that move well scouted. Nice. Oh, right on target. Jericho goes behind. Big oh, suplex. Man, what impact from that suplex? And he goes for the neck breaker. Triple H is chipping away. That chop turning his chest to deep purple. Huge power move. And I'm sure we'll be able to see the handprint left by that chop. Come on, get in here. And this oh, I missed. Turn to the ring. Into the headlock. Jericho believes that everything he does is perfect. Oh. And that move was pretty close to perfection. So much on the line in this one. And like they say, on any given night, anything can happen in the WWE. That's a move that'll knock you out cold. Triple H with a beautiful reversal. Oh. Yes, big bulldog has the headlock nicely avoided there and that series ends in deadlock neither one of these superstars can afford to give their opponent the upper hand devastating just a devastating neck breaker jericho setting it up oh was he gonna do the triple power bomb thing yes one two Three. Can he capitalize? What's this? Lion tamer. Oh no. No. Nowhere near ready. And he escapes the hole. And again with the bulldog. I have a strong feeling that these guys will throw caution to the wind and just go full steam ahead. Jericho looking for the win. What a punch! Jericho squeezing down on the head. Oh man, how do you beat an opponent that can do that to you? Watch out! A vicious oh. elbow drop delivered with a lot of force. Oh, what a painful kick! Triple H can be emotionless in the ring. He's got that unique ability to do any horrific thing he can think of and have absolutely no remorse about it. Caught the leg. Wow. What an impact from that kick. Face first. That's just nasty. There's the oh, man. Line. Big clothesline. What a fierce kick. Triple H, as controversial as anyone has ever been in WWE. Oh, yeah. The game just loves to stir the pot. Oh, what a move. Rattling the ring. Straight right by Triple H. Oh, my oh God. big insecurity kick to the back of the head. Chris Jericho, who grew up in Canada, has denounced Canada on several occasions. Well, don't kick Jericho in the heart. You'll probably break your toe. And there's a counter by Jericho. Good in-ring presence shown by the game. Just a fantastic suplex. Championship on the line. Nice backbreaker. Oh. Great move. Jericho going for the cover. Oh my god, I pick up the win with that.
Oh, those WWE competitors tore this arena apart. Let's take a look back on some of the incredible highlights. I didn't even mean to do a schoolboy roll-up like that. What was it called? Um, small package. Wow, guys. Oh, look at this. They made a number one contenders match, The Rock vs. Stone Cold. Oh, wow. What I had planned was Bret Hart vs. Kurt Angle. Okay, guys, I'm going to let this be up to you. I want you guys to write me in the comments below. In the next episode, would you rather see an epic match between Stone Cold and Steve Austin to decide the number one contender for Bret Hart's championship at Bad Blood? Or do you just want to see a normal match between... Bret Hart and Kurt Angle, which I was actually thinking about making a submission match. So it's up to you guys, Rock vs. Steve Austin number one contenders match, or Kurt Angle vs. Bret Hart submission match. The choice is up to you guys, write it in the comments below and I'll see you guys soon.